Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you log amplifier in great details. Before I start with explanation, let me show you how many things that I'm going to cover in this video. See, first of all, I'll be explaining you basics of logarithmic amplifier. After that, I'll explain you applications of logarithmic amplifier. After that, I'll explain you logarithmic amplifier using operational amplifier. And with this circuit, I'll be going to derive output equation. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of logarithmic amplifier. Logarithmic rules are very essential in mathematics. Using logarithmic rules, we can perform so many functions. Like by using logarithmic rules, one can convert multiplication into addition and division into subtraction. For example, if you take multiplication of a into b, then log of a into b will be log a plus log b. So here we are converting multiplication into addition. If you have division of variable a divided by b, then log of a divided by b will be log a minus log b. So here division is converting things in form of subtraction. Logarithmic rules that also can be used to convert power into multiplication. Like if you have a to the power b, then log of a to the power b will be b into log of a. So basically, logarithmic rules can be used in so many ways in mathematics. Here, I'll be explaining you logarithmic amplifier in which if input is v in, then output will be proportional to log of v in. Now based on these logarithmic properties, there can be so many applications. Let us see the applications of log amplifier. Logarithm function can be used in so many applications. Here I am going to explain you few of those applications. Like log amplifier that can be used in signal compression. So here as if input is having wide range of value then by taking log of input one can reduce the range in terms of db right so to reduce dynamic range of signal one can use logarithmic amplifier one can use log amplifier in multiplication and division of signal as i have told you by taking log of multiplication one can convert things in terms of addition and as if you have division operation, then one can convert that in terms of subtraction. So in multiplication and division of signals also, one can use logarithmic amplifier. To find the roots and power of the signal also, one can use it. Like for example, here you see we have a to the power b. So if you want to identify power b, then one can take log of it. So in that situation also, one can use logarithmic amplifier. Now I'm going to explain you log amplifier using open. Here you can observe circuit of logarithmic amplifier using operational amplifier. Here our agenda is to derive output equation which is there in form of log of input. Let us derive it step by step. So first of all you will have to understand this circuit. See with this open we have negative feedback. If you have negative feedback at that time you will have to apply virtual short concept in which voltage at positive terminal and voltage at negative terminal will be equal. So here positive terminal is ground means negative terminal should be having zero voltage over here. Right. As per virtual short concept. So virtual short concept or virtual ground concept that is applicable in negative feedback. One more basic that you need to note down. See with this op-amp, we have very high input impedance. As input impedance of this op-amp is very high, current going inside will be negligible. If I say it is IB, then that is almost zero, right? Now to derive output equation, let us assume through this resistance R, current is I and through this diode, current is ID. And let us say this node is A, so we will be going to apply KCL at node A. So if you apply KCL at node A, then entering current that is equals to leaving current. 
entering current is i and leaving current is ib and id so you can say here i is equals to id plus ib where ib is zero so you can say i is equals to id only now here you need to understand what are the values of i see i is there in this direction so that is v in minus zero divided by r so let us substitute it it is v in minus zero divided by r means it is v in by r now you need to understand what is id that is diode current so here diode current equation that is is into e to the power vd divided by eta vt minus 1 where this is that is reverse saturation current of this diode this vd that is diode voltage this eta that is ideality factor it can be having value 1 or 2 this vt that is threshold voltage one can calculate that as per kt by q where k is Boltzmann's constant t is there in terms of temperature with gallium q is charge so this is what diode current equation now one can simplify this diode current equation further by ignoring this value of 1 the reason is e to the power this term that is resulting into very larger value compared to 1 so one can say id current that is i of s into e to the power vd divided by eta vt now let us simplify this equation which we have substituted from here right so here for further simplification let us take this i of s on other side so we'll be having v in divided by r into i of s that is equals to e to the power vd divided by eta vt now what is the diode voltage vd see here diode voltage vd that is happening as per this polarity plus minus right so here we have diode voltage vd that is happening as per this polarity so what is vd vd is this terminal potential minus this terminal potential so it is zero minus v out so that is minus v out so let us substitute this over here now to simplify this equation further i'll be taking log at both of the side now here if you take log of e to the power something then as i have told you we have a property of log in which log of a to the power b that is b into log of a so here log of e that is 1 so you can say this term is minus v out divided by eta vt so based on that we can have v out equation now that is minus of this will go on other side so that will be eta vt into log of this so here now you can observe this v out that is proportional to log of v in so we have output that is happening as per logarithmic value of input voltage right so output will be changing over here as per logarithmic value of v in that is referred as log amplifier over here right and here we have negative sign this negative sign that is happening because of we are using this op amp in inverting configuration so that is how one can design log amplifier i hope you have understood this derivation still if anything that you like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video